So let's talk about blue chip NFTs. So this is referring to a PFP avatar community that's established and stable. Now, according to Nansen, a blockchain analytics platform, they update their NFT blue chip market overview based on high liquidity and market cap. So it's important to look at these blue chip NFTs as ones to add to your portfolio of JPEGs because you could sell your position if you need liquidity to ape into other projects. So the list from Nansen is 20 established NFTs and their index, and it's updated quarterly. One of the projects that we'll explore is based on the comment and I wanted to do an individual breakdown of these 20 NFTs collections. So it hasn't been covered here yet. So let's talk about World of Women. GMGM GM, NFT Explorers Mike DeMazzo here to help you navigate through the metaverse as your no shill resource. For this video, I'll share my own experience buying back into NFT summer numbers and on-chain analytics, answer some common questions about World of Women NFT and tie it back to the beginning of this project. As a reminder, none of this is financial advice, just helping you establish your own research as you watch this video all the way through the end. So on August, 2021, AKA NFT summer, we saw the surge of BAYC and other projects. My mom actually watches some of my videos and from time to time, she messaged me about getting her an NFT. I put this out on Twitter based on what people were recommending. Now at the time, there were definitely other projects that had a higher floor. I looked in the world of women and dug the art. Plus, it was below 0.1 ETH. I actually snagged two for about 0.08 ETH each. Now, if a project mints out already and I have to select from the secondary, I think this is something I want to hold on. So I'll select ones that look rare, which I ended up selecting based on their facial features. Now, for the on-chain analytics and numbers, the average price for the world of women NFT is 4.49 ETH based on the last 25 sales. There is a total of 4,777 unique wallets. And out of that board API club holders, there's a crossover of 497 wallets holding both a BAYC and a WOW. The highest last sale was 200 ETH from Logan Paul as a seller and the sandbox game as the buyer. Only 16% have their NFTs listed for sale with a current floor price of 3.95 ETH. So to buy a World of Women NFT, you would have to buy a World of Women NFT through a secondary marketplace like OpenSea, or you can check it out if they're all, well, it'll be on Rarible as well. And there's a new one coming out, which is looks rare. And that's still currently in beta, so I'm not sure if that's open to the public yet. Then you also have Coinbase's NFT marketplace whenever that releases. So what is World of Women? World of Women is a community celebrating representation, inclusivity, and equal opportunities for all. United by a first of its kind collection featuring 10,000 artworks of diverse and powerful women. They are now five months old. They launched on the night of July 27th with a very clear goal to bring more visibility to women and more diversity in the NFT space. The collection sold out in just 10 hours. Support from Pranksy and OG well-known Flipper helped signal to all other DJs out there, as well as a tweet from Gary Vee taking notice of World of Women. There's also the plug from Logan Paul in his channel. What it represents, what it stands for, and the art itself, I love. Um, I, 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 I aped, as they say in the crypto world, into this project. Um, I got some really, really beautiful night goddesses. Uh, I got a royalty club member, which, uh, basically gives a pool of 19 people per, a percentage of the sales. So the community of the world of women has like a, a, a great group. Um, the, the girl who started the project, her name is Yam, is uh, here to basically like level the playing field for women to break through in, in crypto. And I think that has yet to be done. I think that's a, a, gonna be a, an exploding vertical in the space soon. I love the art. I love the cultural significance. I think eventually when NFTs are understood as the uh, the monumental asset that they are, this project will take off in the future. Two things I believe in ready, crypto and women. The first celebrity changing their Twitter profile was Reese Witherspoon. Now, two big events. One was signing a deal with Universal Music Group and an up and coming artist, Kendra J and partnering with Coinbase on their NFT marketplace. Now, their support with women artists have been incredible to see the World of Women Fund being a strong believer that art is utility. They have a monthly art drops to holders. Then when it comes to their giving efforts, they have donated more than 250,000 to charities that share their 
values such as she's first, code to inspire, too young to wed, and la maison de famille. Not even sure if I pronounced that right. Okay, so their next step is to level up World of Women as an iconic global brand. They teamed up with Thought Matter, a talented design studio from NYC to redesign a brand that would fit their ambitions and beliefs. This isn't just a rebrand to fit the t-shirt test, more of, you know, what's next, what's the next phase for World of Women to be seen and heard all over. The collaborative intelligence, yes, that's what it's about, collaborative intelligence. The World of Women DAO, Decentralized Autonomous Organization, so the strategic decisions are the responsibilities of the team, but they want to involve holders as much as possible. The extension of World of Women collection will be released sometime this year. That means it'll go beyond this 10,000 um, NFTs. What we know so far is that this collection will be much larger than the original collection. Now, every World of Women owner will be able to claim an NFT from the second collection for free, and the new collection has exclusive benefits, but OG, wow will always be top tier membership so the story is it came from four founders but the artist is who we'll focus on yam she entered the space in 2021 and has a diverse background and became a digital illustrator she was selling her artwork as a one of one and the idea was to make a drop different from animal profile pictures yam has only drawn women of different backgrounds and her art shows that there's the 10,000 hour rule popularized by Malcolm Gladwell in his book Outliers. The rule goes, it takes 10,000 hours of intensive practice to achieve mastery of complex skills and materials like playing the violin. Well, based off Yan's art and genuine thought process for creating a world of women, it definitely shows her skill level. The four co-founders, Yam, um, Raf, BBA, and Tomei, the other two are developers. Her goal was to get her message across creating characters for women. She saw the problem and came up with a solution. Yam wanted to celebrate women and be represented for all. She created 180 assets within two months and wanted to take each element and color combination to work. Yam did her color homework and she also, you know, would rework it to make sure the outcome would be beautiful. Yam took her time to go through pre-generated outcomes, basically really diving down into what would come out from the collection. That's why it definitely stands out when you see this project. They delivered the whole first roadmap by October, and the second one is a long-term one combining both physical and digital world. The first roadmap goal was to get World of Women in real-world galleries and then creating physical goods with doing merch. They are continuing to grow the team, multitasking and moving forward, contributing to charities. She carefully curated each asset through random and as I mentioned, it's well thought of and specific outcomes as a way to be mindful of cultural appropriation. The artist did not include anything from um, other cultures because she knew that it would need to include everybody else's and it was going to be impossible to please, to please everybody. And skin tone was inspired by Fenty Beauty, Rihanna's makeup line, being one of the most diverse skin tone ranges in the history of makeup. At the time of many PFP drops, well, there's a ton. Back in July, it's the duo of Yam and Raphael that wanted to bring more diversity to the space and also their two awesome developers with BBA and Tomei. So with a solid rebranding and future plans for the year, World of Women is one of the ones to watch. There's a lot of similar projects in art and utility that are different. For their second related drop, it's one to keep an eye on as the second drop. Second drops are like sophomore albums, but with all the noise of NFTs has generated, I wouldn't be surprised to see other big female celebrities join in on the World of Women galaxy. So what do you think of World of Women? Have you picked up any? What do you think of its art? Tap that thumbs up for this video because it helps bring ETH back up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn notifications on. If you haven't already, check out the other videos on NFT breakdowns, tools, and news. Stay legendary and I'll see you in the metaverse.